key is to keep company with people who only uplift you. Whose presence calls forth the best. Top inspired by Epic Been marrying, been marrying more on this so Wes Watson as I've been searching for the cure for the coronavirus online on the YouTube just uh, uh, being up to to date with with what's going on and it's not the virus that will kill you it's the people who will whatever the gra the grammar fix was the people the virus won't kill you the people will <clears throat> and again with I still haven't gotten over the the hardship of others and me just seeing in real time just people People crumble. And you know, I'm not talking about losing a hundred bucks or even a thousand. I'm talking about having your station of life change, your routine changed, death involved, permanent, something, a permanent change. No danger. So, since uh, I was going through that, yeah, I've been uh, a lot leaner on my thoughts. And it's funny because I, when I see this coronavirus thing, you know, I think of uh, you know, my, my NBC training. Remember one time you were. Uh, taking the NBC course, and uh, I forget what the, I forget what the instructor actually said. What to do during a blast uh, with a new plane in the air, in the air, and you're a survivor. <laughs> Mop level gas mask, uh, senators. Attack, taking cover. <clears throat> and uh, one of my senior Marines was there. And uh, the instructor asked the class, uh, Alright, double, what do you guys do if fucking Scott's in the air? Nukes on its way. And uh, my senior Marine, under his breath, said, uh, um, I don't know how to pray, but says uh what say three Hail Marys full of grace hallowed be thy name and I was like what the fuck but uh <laughs> uh it tripped me out man A bomb blast, face it away, cover your nuts, lay flat. Let the explosion go through, through your body. Um, be aware of concussion, nerve agents, biological, nuclear, nuclear fallout. Just a shit storm. But 
again, it's not a, it's not a virus that will kill you, man. Uh, you know, I've almost caught a fever that, that uh, probably could, possibly could turn, turn into pneumonia. I've got the antibiotics to uh, get it fixed. Felt, felt like shit, but still nothing. That wasn't as worse as the time that I caught, caught the swine flu. I think I caught that shit in Vegas. It's being out in public because um, that shit knocked me out. Uh, like, like, no, in two days. <laughs> I still remember that because it felt like, like literally someone, uh, felt like someone tripped me. Um, I landed on my, uh, on my knees on con on my elbows and knees on concrete and then motherfuckers motherfuckers were just kicking me um, all, all over my body and again I, I don't think I, I don't think I had a migraine but I just felt fucking sore all over and uh, I, I don't like to complain about shit at all I I worked plenty, plenty uh, with fevers. Again, I will con I will work on foot alone. In bandit and uh, poisonous venomous snake country. By myself in 127 degree weather, and be like, all right, cool. It's almost time for lunch, all right? No, not yet. Almost time for my um. 15 minute lunch. And. Uh, and I will force myself to take that much of a long lunch because uh, just to hydrate my body. Fuck uh, comfort shit. It's just the body needs uh, replenishment. And 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 I know that uh, I believe that I'm able to operate that way because because of who's trained me, who I've been with. Uh, honorable and amazing people, warriors that I've met and served with in the Marine Corps and not the Marine Corps. And, uh, and again, recently just with, uh, you know, some of the heartache that uh, that I care about had. Yeah, the selfish part said, yeah, you will at least, at least I'm not going through it, but at the same time, it's like, you know what, you know what my biggest concern is right, right now, maybe, is, um, you know, um, is, is the dog gonna, gonna shit somewhere where, where I'm gonna step on it, and uh, that's why I'll take it for a dog walk soon. I already took a shit today. And already picked up a shit, so I'm pretty sure it took a shit somewhere. All the shit's out of the system. It's on empty. And... And I don't mean to be a party pooper. As, as I've been seeing people just... Ha, 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 Just uh, smoking and joking... Um, I really haven't looked into big, big time into what Italy's going through right now. But I know that uh, first it was, I believe, the northern part that was shut, shut down, and now the entire country shut down, and uh, there's no, uh, there's no cross country travel. It's illegal, and restaurants are told to close at a sundown. Yeah, I don't see us stupid Americans, uh, fat, fucking, weak, entitled, government titty sucking motherfuckers, celebrity chasing, shiny bling worshiping motherfuckers, or 
Yeah, I don't think we're, we're going to do too good uh, when that comes. <clears throat> I mean, there was a doctor online that said, uh, you know, it's very likely that uh, uh, there are people with the, with the virus here in California and uh, many parts of the U.S. who uh, who have it. <laughs> and the only reason that they're not being counted is because they haven't been tested. That is it. And uh, I like that. I can remember this crowd, crowd, this couple. They were looking at me weird as I'm buying them some cases of water for me and my doggies. And then I thought, you know, Paul was his age. Young motherfucker, possibly later right out of high school. I don't think man, that that pussy's got to be amazing to uh to um either it's amazing or you haven't gotten uh, so much of it that uh, you think fuck man, there's, there's probably a uh, mayhem coming around. But let me prepare for it. But said he's lovey dovey, holding hands and. Sitting on a little bench. I'm thinking, well, let's let's see how far the love uh, the love lasts. It's interesting discussing this topic with. Um, you know, people that say, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm not worried about it. You know, I'll just if I need food, I'll just, go, I'll just go to the supermarket. I'm like, all right. Well, I'll just go grab something from Chipotle, from McDonald's, from 7-Eleven. All right. Well, what are you going to do when um, it's all sold out because uh, no inventories come in? No, um, all the trucks, all, all the people that drive, the truck drivers? Yeah, they come in from farms or from uh, from factories, from warehouses with all this shit. What are you gonna do when uh, all of them say, you know what? Uh, when they haven't made their deliveries, because they don't want to go into a big city and get fucked up. But once the numbers show up. I say I've walked a, a decent amount. And let me just think of a, let me just think of this uh, two mile, two and a half, three mile, three mile radius, right? Two and a half mile radius. All right, I just say people, 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 business, business, you know, not luxury, a, cos a cosmetic, I'll say a cosmetic business, because even, even tattooing is cosmetic. Hair shop, barbershop is cosmetic. Um, you know, you're going out to a print, that's cosmetic, that's for your business. The only thing that's a real job is something that, that deals with food, you know, something, something where that's life and death. You know, you fucking eliminate food or farms. You know, I'll, I'll see restaurants, cafes, and supermarkets. <clears throat> and all those are outsourced you know I, I've been in uh, parts of the world where you know I have ordered a I think it was a chicken pesto sandwich I believe and they, they went they didn't know that alfalfa came on it so, so uh, there was no alfalfa there in the kitchen so what they did is they saw the cook uh Literally, I just walk, walk outside the door, and I can see it here through the window. Pick some alfalfa from a big pot that was right out the door. Bring it in, wash it. You know, you know, wash it under the sink. You know, bring it like 
few times and then put it on my sandwich, puts the bread on. There you go. And uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I'm trying to think. And I've eaten way, like the people that know me know that I fucking eaten at a fucking ton of fucking places here in, um, here in America, just in America. Just in America, I've been to many fucking restaurants, whatever. 100, 200, 300, I don't think how many restaurants. Mm. If, if I estimate low, probably 300. Just 300. Over 300. And yeah, not, at none of those places I've ever seen that. Where they had anything uh, right there. Sourced right there. And I don't think people want to think about that. And I think I saw this uh, this comment on uh, on a YouTube red on a YouTube Reddit video or something by a trucker who said, "Yeah, yeah, you expect me to fucking uh, fight you for for uh, food, water, and gas." And the truck driver, I know where all that shit's at. So go fuck yourselves. Something like something to those words, and, and I laughed because I thought, uh, yeah, that dude's probably gonna go, trying to go home with his dog or just with his family. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe they'll be back on the rent a month or two if fucking the economy just freezes. But what are you gonna do when the uh, landlord is dead? When everyone at the real estate company, at the real estate, at the management company is dead, or fucking um, stressed out, or or their mom or grandma or their step parents are in the hospital? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there'll, there'll be extensions and and they'll they'll recover. Oops. This is uh. This is an interesting time, man. Very interesting time. And, and I've just been doing a lot of reflecting, man. I mean, the other day I went out on a run. And I didn't say, I'm gonna do like a stupid, weak, fat fucking cunt. Small thinking motherfucker. I said, you know, today I'm going to do one mile. Come on, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do three. And I thought, all right, cool. I was like, you know what? Um, my piss was clear. So that means I'm pretty hydrated. All right, let me see. Let me move my shoes. Let me move my feet around. Right, the shoes are comfortable. Let me make this one tighter. All right, cool. All right, and uh, looked in my dog's eyes. I uh, used the ESP and says, "Hey, you know we're gonna stop till one of us either passes out or dies." And uh, my dog looked at me and said, uh, "Yeah, see you at your funeral, sucker." Like, All right, like that attitude. So I don't know, two, three, three and a half miles. Up. Sprinting and jumping, and uh, other and other exercises. Uh, you know, definitely uh, burnt up a lot of calories. Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius. Just history books in general. So 
What's up, dude? Wes Watson interview with Brian Rose and um, Wes Watson got emotional when he mentioned that he wanted to have family. And I, and I thought that was cool. Cool, man, because <clears throat> and I, th I thought it was a beautiful thing when a warrior and a leader want, want to keep on leading. And another highlight there where he said uh, the way he, like the reason he does certain things because he's an alpha male, but then he says, I, I don't like saying uh, alpha male because he doesn't like to elevate himself. And I thought, fuck, man, that's, um, that's badass, man, to know that, that, uh, that, that he knows so much, that he knows that he's at, He's above a common level of income, of insight, of hardship, of, of overcoming, and uh, and and he brags that, he, and he doesn't have to brag about it versus seeing some fucking rapper. I think it was Fifty Cent, who uh, was uh, bragging about the money he had and taking pictures of Takashi with his diamonds, big diamonds. <clears throat> Thirteen and seventeen million dollar deals and I thought, you know that uh, one of the one of the uh one of the um, Walmart's daughters um, one of the Walton um heiress just, just her art collection, not, not her income, her piggy bank or her homes. Just her, her art collection, I believe it's worth a half a billion. Just her art collection. And uh, and and I couldn't uh, I couldn't pick these people out out of a lineup. You know, I wouldn't be able to recognize them. No, but they're busy getting after it, man. Like that. You know, I don't mean for you to uh, get all doomsday prepper and start digging a foxhole with uh, with a grenade grenade netting around it and punji sticks around the area. All if you did have punji sticks in, I think it'd be pretty awesome. And to learn how to speak and whatever, wind talk or whatever. What was the Navajo language? The movie wind talkers, I believe. To learn to learn that to communicate via ham radio. No. <clears throat> Let's see if someone uploaded the latest Alex Jones on the YouTube. But when I saw that quote on uh, Epect e Epectetus, Epectetus, no, I liked it a lot. And, and, and I have to fight the urge from my past, and I believe my, from past conditioning, um, to communicate because. Uh, um, to communicate with people that, that are not going to elevate me, that are not going to uplift me. And no, this doesn't mean I'm, I'm better than you. Fuck you. No. No. Again, uh, with these times right now, 
you know, I don't care about your latte, I don't care about your feelings, I don't care what holiday, if it's your birthday, if it's Christmas, if it's Thanksgiving, um, whatever the fuck, fuck off, fuck you, just go make shit happen, man. And, uh, I like negativity. I like it a lot. I like it much, much less now. I'm tolerant of it much, much less. Then I thought, just a few days ago, I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna get into another fight right now. Fuck it, let's see. Let's just do this shit. I'm gonna put the motherfucker uh, I'm getting taller, more muscular than me. I don't give a fuck. Younger than me, too. I don't give a shit. Let's see what, uh, let's see what level of training that motherfucker has. What he'll fall back on. But but I thought, you know, motherfuckers won't, won't do that for themselves. They can't be around you. Don't want you around. Just want to stay away from from mindsets like that, because I think right now with the the I don't want to um, I was going to say hardships, but with the maybe challenges, mm, I'll say call them, call them, I, I will not call them obstacles. I'll call them more like speed bumps. That. Um, I designed many of them, attracted them by my tolerance for them and tacit approval. And again, it, it came by with shit as simple as, um, oh man, it's the weekend, man, let's just chill out. Oh man, it's, oh man, it's your birthday, let's hang out. Oh man, it's my birthday, let's hang out too. What you get me? Again, uh, I remember when uh, one one Christmas Eve, it's like, all right, man, we're gonna close early tomorrow. Who wants to stay? Uh, me. You know, you can stay by yourself. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, all the clients for me, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. Because I thought, well, look, no one else is working, and um, you know, it's gonna be people out there gonna be one spending money, man. Fuck it, here I am. Oh no, I, I need to go to the family Christmas Eve dinner and be with a bunch of fake motherfuckers. Like, oh, it's Christmas. Um, I like you today, sort of. You know, um, I hate life. I hate your job. I hate my job. Life's unfair, but um, we got food. Fuck all that shit, huh? And and I think what I want to speak about my past, I think people say some people may believe that oh I'm just I'm stuck in the past or believe in the past, but I I say no. The past is us right now because it's that conditioning that either made us bad fucks. Fucking bodybuilders made us financially self sufficient or fucking paycheck, paycheck whores that put us in our dream home or put us in the best case scenario happenstance by luck, by dumb luck. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that my life it does need no way it doesn't need shit first. And second is that there are many upgrades that I could uh, get so I could make things more more comfortable, more pleasing. Um, more upgrades, more gear. 
get less headaches. Um, I stopped stressing out a while back. And the Marine Corps took a lot of stress out. Because it's simple as if you're if you're alive, uh, here's a problem. So, in my opinion, there's only two problems here, two two ways of being in the problem. Um, one, you are paraplegic or maimed or paralyzed. You can barely breathe or you're in a coma. And the other is if you're dead, because you know, once, oh, okay, your body stop, heart stop beating, but the other one is basically, well, hey, you're, you're breathing, you're still a shot. If you're in a coma, let's go, well, let's go, go. Fucking coma that shit out, man. So much to do in this lifetime. Get after it, motherfuckers. No excuses. Go forward. Trump, 2020.